Hello, and welcome to our lesson on solving trigonometric equations and identities. So in this lesson, we're going to solve questions A, B, and C, where theta is in the range of less than 360, but greater than or equal to zero degrees. So we'll begin with question A. We have two cos squared theta plus cos theta is equal to zero. So to solve this equation, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factorize out the cos theta from both of these two terms. So we can have this on the outside of our brackets. And now cos theta multiplied by 2 cos theta will make 2 cos squared theta. So we'll have 2 cos theta in our brackets. And then cos theta multiplied by 1 will make this term. So we'll put the 1 here. And this is equal to zero. So now I'm going to say that cos theta is equal to x and I can rewrite this like a traditional equation. So we have x lots of 2x plus 1 is equal to zero. So now we can see that we've got a product of x and 2x plus 1 and when either of these two terms equals zero the entire product will equal zero. So our first solution is when x is equal to zero. Our second solution is when 2x plus one is equal to zero. But we need to remember that we said that x is actually cos theta. So, we can, so now we can say that cos theta is equal to zero. We'll take the arc cos of both sides. So the arc cos of zero will equal 90 degrees. So our first solution is when theta is 90 degrees. Moving on to 2x plus 1 equals 0, we'll take away the 1 and divide both sides by 2. So cos theta is equal to negative 1 half. We'll take the arc cos of negative 1 half. And we can see that theta is 120 degrees. But there will be other solutions within our range of 0 to 360. So to find these solutions, I'm going to sketch the graph of cos theta. So we know that one solution is when theta is equal to 90 degrees, which is at this point here. So you can see our next solution when cos theta equals 0 is at 270 degrees, which is here. Our next solution is when theta is 120 which will be approximately here. The corresponding solution to this one will be at this point. Now we know that this is 60 degrees away from 180. So our next solution will be to add 60 degrees and we get 240. So our four solutions to this equation are when theta is equal to 90, which is this one, 120, this one, 240, and 270 degrees. Okay, let's move on to question B. Okay, for question B, we have for cos squared theta minus cos theta minus 2 sine squared theta is equal to zero. So to solve this equation, we need to write it in either terms of cos or sine. And now it's difficult to replace this cos theta here. So I'm going to replace the sine squared theta. And to do this, I can use this identity which we discovered in a previous tutorial. So to write sine squared theta in terms of cos squared theta, I'm going to take away the cos squared theta from both sides of this identity. We can see that these two will cancel. So we have sine squared theta is equal to one minus cos squared theta. And now I can write this expression in place of sine squared theta here. So now we have for cos squared theta minus the cos theta minus two sine squared theta, which is one minus cos squared theta and this is equal to zero. 
So we can rewrite this bit out again, and then we'll expand these brackets. So we have minus 2 times 1 for minus 2, and a negative 2 times negative cos squared theta, which is plus 2 cos squared theta. And this is equal to 0. So now we can collect the cos squared theta terms together. So we have 6 cos squared theta minus the cos theta minus the 2. And this is equal to 0. So to make this easier to work with, I'm going to say that cos theta is equal to x. You don't need to do this, it just makes it easier for me. So we have 6x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we can factorise this quadratic where we get 2x plus 1 multiplied by 3x minus 2. And this is equal to 0. So x is equal to negative 1 half and x is equal to 2 over 3. But remember that we said that x is cos theta. So cos theta is equal to negative 1 half. We'll take the arc cos of both sides. So theta is the arc cos of negative 1 half, which gives us 120 degrees. And then we have cos theta is equal to the two thirds. Again, we'll take the arc cos of both sides. So theta is equal to 48.2 degrees. And now to see if there's any other solutions within our range of 0 to 360, I'm going to sketch the graph of cos theta. So our first solution is that 120 degrees which is approximately along this line, so 120 degrees here. And this solution, well, this is 30 degrees on from 90, so this will be 30 degrees back from 270, which will give us 240. We can apply the same idea when theta is 48.2 degrees, which is approximately along the 48.2, so this solution will be 360 take away 48.2, which is 311.8. So these are our four solutions. When theta is equal to 48.2, 120, and 311.8. Okay. Let's try question C. Okay, so for our final question, we have cos squared theta divided by 1 minus sine theta is equal to 0.25. So do you want to try this question yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So we're going to begin by writing cos squared theta in terms of sine squared theta because it is difficult to write the sine theta in terms of cos. So we can take away the sine squared theta from both sides in this identity. So we have cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. And now we can substitute this expression for cos squared theta in our numerator of this fraction. So now we have 1 minus sine squared theta over 1 minus sine theta is equal to 0.25. So the next thing is we're going to move this denominator of 1 minus sine theta to the right hand side and this quarter to the left hand side by multiplying both sides by 4. So now we have 4 lots of 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine theta. And next, we'll expand these brackets out. So 4 minus 4 sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine theta. And now we'll make this equation equal 0 by moving this negative 4 sine squared theta to the right-hand side and taking away 4 from both sides. 
So we have zero is four sine squared theta minus the sine theta and then the one take away the four to make negative three. So now we have a quadratic and I'm going to write x in place of sine theta. So we have zero is equal to four x squared minus x minus three. And we can factorize this quadratic. So we have zero is equal to four x plus three multiplied by x minus one. So our solutions are when x is equal to minus three over four and when x is equal to one. And we need to remember that x is actually sine theta. So we can say that sine theta is negative three over four. We'll take the arc sine of both sines. So theta is the arc sine of three over four. So theta works out to be negative 48.6 degrees. Our next solution is when sine theta is equal to the one here. Again, we'll take the arc sine of both sides. These will cancel. So theta is the arc sine of one, which is 90 degrees. And to find any other solutions, I'm going to sketch a graph of y equals sine theta. Okay, so our first solution is that negative 48.6 falls outside of our range. But we can find its other solutions by drawing a line from this point. And you can see the other solutions are here and about here. Now, because this is 48.6 degrees from when this equals zero, we can go in the other direction from 180, which is negative 48.6, and left from 360, so minus 48.6 again. So our solutions are 228.6 and 311.4. And we also have another solution when feature equals 90. So we'll mark this on here. So finally, our three solutions to this equation are when theta is equal to 90 degrees, 228.6, and 311.4 degrees. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.